the State Representative, District 175, Amy Carter, Republican and incumbent. Amy? Thank you, Ron, and thank you to the Chamber for hosting this event this evening. I want to start by introducing myself. For those of you who are not familiar with me, I'm Amy Alexander Carter. I'm born and raised in Lowndes County. I'm the daughter of Wayne and Barbara Alexander. I am married to Doug Carter. My in-laws are Paul and Larry Carter in the back. I have two children. Alex, she's 14, and Davis is 12. I've been married a little over 18 years now to Doug. I have been a career educator. I graduated from Lowndes High School and went on to Valdosta State and received my degree in education and have taught since then, first at Valdosta Tech for about seven years, and then I left there and went to Lowndes High School, and I've been teaching there now for 12 years. I do teach there full time. And um, it can be a challenge to juggle both jobs, the, the school job and the legislative job. But the legislative job, of course, is part-time, and I make it work. Uh, this is my sixth year I'm completing now, and I'm asking you to return me for my fourth term. Of course, we run every two years. I want to tell you a little bit now about my job in the last six years as a legislator. I have done everything and will maintain to do to bring everything I can to South Georgia. One of the most important things that happened for me two years ago was the governor called me and asked me to serve as one of these three floor leaders in the house. Someone just asked me, what is a floor leader for the governor? Well, let me explain. There are 180 positions of house members in the house, and the governor selects three people out of that 180, and he calls and says, will you serve as First from Lowndes County. I'm the fourth female ever in the state of Georgia to serve as a floor leader for the governor. Now what do we do? We meet daily. Every single morning I meet with the governor's staff. We're looking at legislation. We're talking about what's best for Georgia. But more importantly is that I'm the voice for South Georgia when it comes to the governor. It's my goal to bring as much as I can, as I've said, to South Georgia. And I think that the greatest person that I can impress is the governor. He is the one who makes the biggest decisions in this state. And for that, I am thankful that he chose me. I want to keep doing that. I sent out my newsletter last night and showed some of the new companies that are coming to the state of Georgia. There were 9,300-ish um, jobs that are coming to the state of Georgia since the beginning of the year. 